Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today we're going to take a sneak peek at the latest extension for Luminar Neo. That extension is Noiseless AI. I was able to get a pre-release copy of this extension. It will be officially released later this month. When it is released and you want to install it in Luminar Neo, all you need to do is click on this little puzzle piece up here. When you do that, this panel will open and from this panel, you'll be able to install it directly. You can see that I already have it installed. Now we're going to be working on this image. This is kind of my standard noisy image that I use for noise reduction applications. You can see that it has a considerable amount of noise. It was shot at a relatively high ISO of 12,800. Now once you have Noiseless AI installed and you want to use it, all you need to do is go to the edit panel as you normally would. You can see it's right over here in this new section called Extensions. Now I already did some editing to this image. When I open up this tool, Noiseless Raw, it's called here because this is a raw file, but the official name is Noiseless AI. When I open this up, it's actually going to temporarily remove the edits I did to it because, and I've mentioned this before, when you're reducing noise, it, it is more effective to reduce noise on an unedited raw file. It just does a better job. So what they do here is they just temporarily remove your edits and then will reduce the noise. And then once the noise it re is reduced, it will reapply your edits to the image. So you'll see when I open it up, the image will look different. It's going to be unedited then. And also the extension will make a suggestion. There's three different levels of noise reduction and it will look at the image and make a suggestion of which one I should use. So I'm going to open it and you'll see that the image, the edits were just removed and it's making, um, and uh, it's calling it advice to use the high adjustment for this image. So we'll just click on the high button. When I do, you'll see that it's thinking and it did it already. It removed the noise. And when it removes the noise, it zooms in to give you a look at the image and look at how it did. And you could do a before after, just click on this little eyeball. There's before and there's after, and you could see that it did a really nice job. When you want to zoom back out, just click and zoom back out. So it could be as simple as that. You just use their suggestion. In this case, it was the high adjustment. Let it do its thing and you're done. Now, if you feel that you could tease out a little more detail or maybe it didn't remove all the noise you think it should have removed. You could come in and move these sliders. You have a noise reduction slider. So move it to the right. This is luminance noise reduction. Move it to the right. It's going to remove more noise. Move it to the left and it will remove less noise. Just be aware that the more you move it to the right, the softer it will make your image. So you may have to add some sharpening later. Color noise reduction, those are usually the little like color dots, usually red, green, and blue that are in the image, very small. Here, it put it at 50. You could, of course, move it up or down as you see fit. Uh, below that is recover original detail. If you think it's not sharp enough, try moving this to the right. But be aware, if you do move it to the right, you may reintroduce some of the noise. and You may have to pop back up to particularly the first slider noise reduction and move that to the right as well. Of course, it's kind of a, um, a balancing act what you're doing here. When you reduce noise, it tends to soften the image a little bit. Then when you recover original detail, you're bringing some sharpness back, but you're also reintroducing some of the noise. So you have to go back up and try to reduce more noise. Then you're softening it a little bit. So you have to have this kind of fine line that you have to walk to make sure that you have a really sharp image, but the noise is reduced. Then you could just do regular old fashioning sharpness to it, sharpening to it with the sharpness slider and just move it to the right to increase the sharpening. And that's it. It's really very, very easy to use. And of course you don't have to use high. If you think middle might do better, you could try that. And that actually looks pretty good too. Or you could try low, you could see. I think actually middle looked pretty good. High looked very good also, but it looks pretty good. So either one of those, and that's really all there is to it right now. Now I want to stress, I am using a pre-release version. It may be slightly different when it actually is released. Uh, one thing I have noticed with the HDR merge extension, when I got my pre-release copy of that, it worked pretty slow. 
And when they uh, actually released it, it worked very quickly. So this may work even faster when it's released. It may work slightly differently. Just be aware of that. But I think they've uh, done a pretty good job for their first iteration of this so-called AI noise reduction that so many other companies are coming out with or have out for a while now. And I think they've done a, a really nice job. It's built in now. We don't have to try to use one of those other apps to reduce noise. We could do it right inside of Luminar Neo. And that's it for this video. As soon as I know more, I'll let you know more about this extensions, this extension and other extensions they have planned in the near future. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.